Hello everybody, it's the spring break, if you can call it that. Um, I don't know what it is, I get, I've got a month off, I probably said that in the last video, I don't know. But anyway, I haven't been doing much, <laughs> I've been kind of playing a lot of Breath of the Wild, probably said that in the last video. But um, yeah, to try and be a little bit productive, I thought I'd moan about the gym. Um, uh, because maybe people want to know, well, I don't know, I don't know. But, you know, it's something to moan about, I guess. Um, so, my gym uh, is kind of a... My gym's kind of an all-in-one sort of thing, I suppose. So it's kind of like... <coughs> uh, well, I, I, it's got everything, really. Uh, well, well, it hasn't at all. I don't know why I said that. But it's got a pool. People like to swim, apparently. So it's got it's got a pool. That's nice. Uh, I, don't, I never use it. Um, there's um, baths and like hot spring thing. Uh, obviously, you know, like just indoors and stuff. Uh, showers and that. And uh, I think they give you hair dryers even in there, in the locker rooms. You've got locker rooms and that, obviously. Men and women, obviously, separate. Um, <clears throat> what else happens? Um, I guess I'll start off with the good things, right? That's kind of that's all good. That's all good stuff. Um, up then you, you you have to kind of go upstairs to uh, get to the actual gym bit. Uh, they've got quite a lot of running machines. I don't know how many. I don't well, I don't know how many is many actually compared to other gyms, but they've got about fifteen maybe, maybe more. I never use them, so doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of those. They've got some weird thing that you kind of... I suppose they've got cycling things as well, those fake cycle things that everyone seems to think are good for some reason. I might as well actually... I might as well kind of show you the, this website here. This is our website. I don't know why you can see it because I've got it on selfie mode and all that. But um, Yeah, what else do they have? They've got these this weird stuff that you kind of sit on and, and you kind of... I don't know, you sit on it and you kind of ride it like a horse or something I've seen people using it it kind of rocks around I don't know what that's for um, uh, there's the opening times why not sort of you know well, that, well, that's that's kind of I should probably save that to be honest because that's that's a bad thing that that happens um, the, the opening times are trash just random pictures and stuff uh, what else do they have in, in the stuff I use the stuff I actually use they have um, a Smith machine. They have a bar. Uh, do they have a barbell? Not no, not really. Not a barbell or a bench. But that's I want to get onto those <laughs> in the negative part. They got dumbbells. They've got like a, assisted dips and you know like what would you what do you call them? Pull ups, chin ups machine thing. I don't know what you call it. So. But, uh, yeah, they've got that. They've got um, a cut two leg curl machines, I think. Two like leg extension things with you know the old what's it called? With the uh, the calf, the, you can do the calf thing on it as well. Obviously, uh, I think the weight's probably plenty enough for me. I think maybe if you're a bit better at the gym. Might, might not be enough. I think it goes up to about 180, 190, maybe 200 kilograms or something. Um, what else have they got? They've got... Uh, wait, did I get that wrong? Look extension. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, what else have they got? They've got fly, a couple of flies, machines for flies, a couple of like lat pull-down machines and stuff. Uh, and then just some stuff for like a few benches for kind of doing like abs and that on um, yeah and some other leg stuff that I don't really use um, so yeah let's moan about it a bit let's moan about it um, I, I showed you the opening times maybe you didn't see I don't know anyway opens at 10 which is bullshit basically yeah uh, it, uh, like i said it opens at 10 right uh, let's have a look let's have another look right it opens at 10 a.m 
useless absolutely useless right uh yeah i'll turn off i'll turn this off actually you got weekdays 10 a.m until 11 p.m 11 p.m is probably all right but open at open at like eight at the latest eight you know saturday it's 10 until 9 what is that what are you doing and then uh sunday and uh holidays like national holidays and that it's opens at 10 until 8 and then you've got uh every week on tuesday it's closed now that is just bullshit like uh, every every week on tuesday so it's already not open most of the time anyway 10 to 11 10 till 9, 10 till 8, and then on Tuesday it closes. So uh, you you can't even go. Like, I, I, that's just, that's ridiculous. Let's talk about the price next, right? I like to moan about that. Um, there are a few different memberships. You can have one that's kind of like uh, go whenever you want, um, any time of day, which is the most expensive. That's about 8,000 yen, which is... When I first came to Japan, I think the pound was quite strong. That would have been, I don't know how much that would have been, maybe 45 pounds a month, maybe. Now, I get told how much everything is in dollars all the time because my uh, all of my colleagues seem to think I know what that means. They seem to think I know what dollars are. Um, but basically what you do for dollars is you just divide the yen by 100. Uh, and you get how much it would be in dollars. So that's eighty dollars, right? Um, uh, I think something like that. Or you can you can choose to go only after eight p.m. And I think that will sort of knock your cost down to about six thousand yen. Uh, or what's that in pounds? I don't know. Or that thirty? Or can't be that much. Thirty-five quid when I first came. But the pounds weak right now. So bear that in mind. So that that'd be that'd be trash. I don't know. I suppose. The cost of things in the UK probably doesn't really change uh, that much. So it'd be the same now anyway, I guess. So about 35 quid, 45 quid a month. Now, the equipment wise, as I said, right, they, they don't have a bench. So there's no bench. They have one Smith machine. So if someone's using it, you, you, that's it. You, you've got to wait. Um, the dumbbells go up to 20 kilograms, which is just like probably all right for curls but bullshit for well other things right like uh rows and stuff i guess just shit just absolute trash um what else annoys me <laughs> um I've moaned about the times. I mean, obviously, the, the the cost is just. I only use the the weight the weight part the weight bit. So the I have to pay to use all of it. I have to pay as if I was using the pool and as if I was using the running machine and as if I was doing everything. And I'm just not. I use a bit of it, and I'm paying like eight thousand yen a month. Um, uh. I don't know what else is kind of bad. They 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 moaned at me once because I was um, using my phone in there. I was probably just selecting some music or something, but they decided to moan at me and go, "Oh, can you not use your phone? You look sad." I'm like, "All right, then I won't." Um, and one time, I kind of I, I I don't know what I've been doing, maybe deadlifts or something, and I just took took the weight off. And obviously, maybe I just finished doing them, so I was done. Right, I'm I was fucked basically, and. Uh, took the weight off and just like you know kind of just put it on the floor like maybe i didn't throw it down or anything but i probably just dropped it i couldn't you know i didn't want it i don't want to lift anymore um and the dude came over and he was just like can you can you put it down gently can you put it down gently and i was like uh yeah all right then mate i will but i've just done you know i've just finished doing this man it's like well, well i don't know why he moaned really probably just because i'm a foreigner i don't know um isn't that isn't that just normal elsewhere? Don't you just throw the weight? Well, not throw them, but you know, don't you just drop them? Like, I didn't even. Like, uh, it was deadlift, so the the bar was on the floor anyway. You know, well, I, was, I say deadlifts. It was with a Smith machine, which I'm kind of. Ref I don't want to do that anymore. But I 
I, I, I get what I was given, you know. I can't magic a, a barber. Anyway, right. So I was on the floor and I just dropped it. Anyway, he came over and moaned, so I don't really like the staff in there that much, to be honest. They're annoying. Um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, you, 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 you have to take... Uh, I don't know if people do this, but I wouldn't if I didn't have to, but you have to take a change of shoes because of the whole no indoor shoes thing that they have here, which is all nice and that for the carpets, but... Um, it means like it just affects everything else because I suppose I should uh, this is probably my fault really I should probably have a bigger bag and probably have a gym bag and stuff but I take my my backpack um, and uh, I have to put my like tr like shoes in it and then wear a different pair of shoes and then with my shoes in it I can't really I don't know, it's just more effort. I can't really do shopping because the stuff the stuff won't fit in the bag, so I have to kind of go to the gym. I have to come home from work first to put my shoes in because I'm not carrying those around all day. Um, and then leave again to go to the gym and then come back and then like leave, go back to my house to put my shoes in the thing and then go off again to go shopping. Whereas if I didn't have to take my shoes about with me in, in, my, in, a, in my bag, then I could just get everything done in one go and not have to worry about it. Um, so it's kind of annoying. Sometimes I, I go, when I go to my junior high school, it's kind of closer to the gym. So I just kind of take everything in my bag. So I kind of have work stuff plus my shoes plus like a, 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 a bottle to, you know, to fill with water when I'm at the gym. Uh, and sometimes i do use the showers and stuff actually so i have to take like like soap and stuff and a towel and like you know probably a change of you know like socks and, and stuff because there's no point putting putting them back on if you're going to wash there and um all that kind of fills your bag up and if i didn't have the shoes in there it wouldn't be a problem but yeah but i have to i have to take two pairs of shoes to the gym so that's kind of that kind of annoys me uh, I don't know, I think that's about it. I think I've moaned enough, to be honest. But, yeah, it's quite annoying. It's, it's quite bad, I think. But it's... I, I, I Actually, it was all there All there was. I think there are new gyms now, so maybe I'll have to try and look into... Go into one or two of those, or just changing the gym or something, but... I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's really annoying. Japanese gyms are... If they're all like this, they're all just shit, basically. All right, that's the end then. Cheers. See ya.